Hello, this is Simone, and this is the third voiceover that I'm trying to film for this journaling process video while um, I have the time on a Saturday morning. I'm so glad you are here. Thank you so much for still coming to my channel, even though I have been f uploading and filming so infrequently lately. My life has been busy and I don't really know exactly why. Um, these journaling videos have been on my computer for quite some time. I made these in May. Um, there's a set of three. I, I was able to sit down one Saturday morning, I guess. That's usually the time when I'm able to create um, for a longer period of time and filmed along while I was catching up. So how has your life been? I'm, I'm, I feel like I don't really have a lot of time and it's always uh, the choice of which journal am I going to fill. And that makes it really hard to choose. What I'm, what I'm liking is that I'm most often gravitating to the Sobunichi Cousin. It is a day free, so there is no daily pages. It's just blank grid pages after the monthlies. Um, but that is... If you have watched any of my other videos, especially the flip throughs, I feel maybe that is also something that hinders me from free, free flow journaling. Does that make sense? free flow journaling? Sometimes when I'm like upset or when I'm extremely happy and I want to write something down, I feel like I cannot do that right now because there's so much other stuff that I want to document. And if you saw earlier, there was this um, pencil board where I had lots of sticky notes and what I used to do, but what I realized just wasn't sustainable. And you will see that, I think, in the next video that is coming up next week. Um, I just wrote down an event or a an emotion, something that happened that I wanted to write about. Um, but when I actually did that, it felt really stale. Maybe that's the word. It wasn't in the moment and it felt like just writing down some empty words that I didn't really need to write because they didn't mean anything anymore. So I'm trying to find the balance between, oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed by this and this, let me write it down. Or, oh, this journaling card is prompting me to feel this, let me write it down right now. And often I don't have the time, but I wish I had. Um, or I feel like there is so much more that I wanted to document or that I wanted to put in here. Um, I can't because I, should, I would have to write five pages, skip five pages, which I thought in the beginning of the year wasn't the problem. I would just use the next empty page and get it all out. But that is what is hindering me currently to to do the in the moment journaling. So I'm I'm trying to think or I'm debating, maybe I have already decided uh, to go with the cousin avec next year so that when I'm feeling on June 26th, I'm feeling really excited about the fact that I'm finally sitting down to um, voice over these videos, then I can open the page to June 26th and write it down. And then if there's empty pages, I do have so much ephemera and so much stuff that I want to put in, that I want to use and create with I don't think I have a lot of problems filling the empty pages. And I'm raising my voice here going into a question because I know that I struggled with that um, in 2020 when I used a Anavec for the second half of the year. 
right now that's what I'm feeling and we'll see how that will evolve through the rest of this of this year. Um, the stickers that you see that I just fuzzy cut with my scissors is stickers that my friend Caitlin stamped for me. If you don't know her, um, you are missing out. She is Caitlin Love loves stationery on Instagram and she is also very present on Twitch. She um, streams twice a week, Mondays and Fridays, and she is um, she loves making Happy Mail and it's always fun, fun because she shares her Happy Mail making processes often. Um, it's always fun, fun watching her put together a special Happy Mail package for, for a friend. So she stamped this Bob Ross, which I actually don't really know much about. I am not native to the United States. I don't know him like that. And I have never really um, wanted to go and find out who he actually is and what he looks like. So, but I know that he is some kind of um, make art and make it art tutorials that you can follow that are really that look very complicated but are easy is that what it is <laughs> let me know in the, in the comments if i'm right or completely off um so i i wrote about i used him or the stickers to write about the hobonichi challenge that <laughs> i think the flowers are from april I decided to participate in April and um, I also decided not to put any pressure on myself and just go as fast or as slow as I needed it to be um, because I wanted to enjoy the drawing process more than the actual like completing the challenge in a specific amount of time and that was definitely something <clears throat> That is very, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you know that I'm always stressing about things like that, um, that I shouldn't be stressing about. Like, like the fact that I'm not putting anything in the journal when there is lots of stuff that I still want to document. That is something that I should be working on or alleviating the stress somehow. But you... Yeah, you get it. I don't want to make a Hobonichi challenge um, stressful. I want to enjoy it. And so letting go of the expectation that I was going to finish this in a given amount of time was very essential. And so I am still working on the April uh, challenge and it's still fun when I take the time to actually do it. So I wrote that I really I used these stickers and pictures as a prompt to write about that challenge and that I I love using finding tutorials on Inst on Google um, that help me draw these flowers and it's I think the flower challenge that was presented in April is a really good one because there is tons and tons of tutorials for each specific flower species flower that you that you want it's super easy to find one that you can follow there's tutorials for all the all the different um, skill levels out there and then I just use my watercolor palette to freely um, add in colors. I do not follow any watercolor techniques or shading. I'm just going with the flow, adding color to the paper and not stressing about is, is this correct? Is, is the shadow actually how it's supposed to be? Uh, I'm just adding color to it. And if you saw my Hobonichi flip through, which I think was made after this 
journal with me video then you can see what it looks like when I'm adding watercolor to the sketches rough drawings of the flowers I'm using a um, ballpoint pen to do the sketches I find it the easiest when I know that I want to add watercolor on top because then I know it's not going to smear um, yeah, that's that's basically all there is to say about the the challenge, which was most of this video. And then I really love documenting Happy Mail, and by that I mean when someone sends me some Happy Mail, what I do is I take apart the envelope and add all the details to that. To a page. Um, I'm dissecting everything and adding it on and that is really that brings me just so much joy. So I I loved my friend Cheryl sent me a little Happy Mail envelope and that's the top part of this page. Um, she included a little list of all the items that she sent me and I loved that so I stuck it in to my journal as well and then I also totally copied her for all the happy mail that I have been sending since because it's just so <laughs> it's just so much fun I also um, tried a new localish kombucha brand and it was kind of sweet but I really loved the label on the bottle and so I decided to just stick that in and I'm I'm really into framing things right now. So I just drew this very um, whimsical frame and added in that I tried this kombucha, but I didn't really like, I liked the flavor, but it was kind of sweet and it didn't fizz much, which I really like kombuchas that have a lot of sparkle in them. And then I decided, I think, to call this quits, or maybe I'm filling this page. If you're familiar with the way that I fill my pages, I try to not have very many white space. I don't know why exactly. Uh, I enjoy the pages more when they're filled up, but I definitely do. It just looks so... Hmm. I have never thought about the fa what it looks like. To me, I I really enjoy using each every little nook and cranny of each page. Not granny, but cranny. Is that how you pronounce it? Now I need to look up that word. Don't even know what it is. <laughs> and so I'm again. The bottom part is the kombucha, as well as another part of an envelope that I received from my friend Ellie. Her channel is. El Ellie, Ellie's Corner. You probably know her as well. She was one of the people that I did the uh, advent with in December of 2020. And I'm done with these two pages. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you're doing. I haven't seen you in such a long time, so I'm. it's time to catch up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!